What's cracking, brothers? Fast Jimmy seventy one in the house. What's going on? Uh, listen, this is gonna be a tutorial for um, I don't know how to pronounce his name, but it's uh, Frickens. I'm jacking this name up, man. Frickens H uh, Y U P. Um, I really don't know how to pronounce this uh, username, but uh, you should know who you are. Um, you sent me a, you sent me a personal message uh, today that you wanted to know how to do hinges uh, for a '39 uh, uh, Chevy uh, sedan delivery. Um, well, <clears throat> I have, as a matter of fact, an old. Uh, uh, delivery truck sedan delivery truck I don't know what year it is I think it's a 39 uh, it's an old 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 kit that I had um, well what I did was that I cut the doors open I cut the back door open because that door doesn't open on that kit so I cut the door open and I made you know the hinge for it um, there's no other way of making the hinges to look like the original hinge that comes on the truck. Uh, so the only best bet is doing the hinge uh, the way that everybody else has been doing it. Like Triprod, uh, which is the godfather, uh, Unimag. He's got a tutorial out there on how to make hinges for your, for your doors and your trunks and your hoods and stuff. Uh, well, I'm going to show you quick... Uh, before I run out of time, uh, what you're going to need to use to make this stuff. Uh, so, I'm going to pan off here. Um, first, you're going to need an X-Acto knife. You're going to need a pair of cutters. Some needle nose. You're going to need some styrene tubing. What size this is, I have no idea because this is the last piece that I had. Uh, but if you don't have any styrene plastic uh, tubing like this, what you can use is uh, open up an old ballpoint pen and the tubing that comes inside of it, make sure that there's no ink inside of it, that it's already used up and cut it down to size. Uh, you're going to need some paper clips. I know Unimag uses, uh, he uses... Uh, uh, brass tubing and brass uh, uh, everything that he uses is brass uh, but if you can't get to any of that kind of stuff man your best bet is paper clip and some styrene tubing and like I said if you can't get any styrene tubing uh, get an old, an old ballpoint a couple of old ballpoint pens and strip out the, the tube that's in the inside and use that that should you that should work out pretty good well, what I'm going to show you is, I'm going to show you how I do this before I run out of time. First, you're going to have to take the, the, the paper clip and straighten it out. Cut the styrene tubing to size, because this is going to be the piece that's going to sit inside uh, the truck. Okay, that's going to sit on the inner part of the, of the, of the wagon. So you're going to have to cut it down to size, slip it through, okay, so it's going to sit like that. Then you take your needle nose, and on both sides, bend it up, okay, do the same on the other side, and then you're going to have something that looks a little similar to this right here okay then you take your needle nose put it right at the end of it like right there and bend up okay bend it up go to the other side and repeat the same thing put it right at the tip bend it up okay I don't know if you can see that I'm trying to do this as quick as I can here so like that you can see then it's going to look like this something like that then you take right here where it's 
like this. Take your needle nose, put it right there, and bend down. Okay? Then you're going to get something like that. Okay? You're going to get something like that. Then you go to the other side, do the same thing, bend it down. Okay? You're going to have something like this. Okay, this is pretty sloppy because I'm doing this pretty fast. Then you're going to take it right where it's like that. You're going to take it, your your, ball, your needle nose, and you're going to set it right there at the tip, and you're going to bend up. Okay? Then you're going to take it on this side, do the same thing, repeat the same thing on the other side, and then bend it up. Oh, a little bit. Went a little bit too far. And make sure you don't hurt yourself because you can hurt yourself doing this shit too. <laughs> uh, and this is what you'll have. Something like that. This is pretty, you know, this is kind of sloppy, but you, you'll get you'll get where I'm coming from with this. Uh, you're going to, you know, you I know you're going to take your time doing it. But uh, this is uh, just pretty quick to show you how you do this. Okay. Let me straighten this up a little bit. Okay. This is going to sit in the inside of the car. Okay. So on the side of your panel truck. Okay. This is going to sit in the inside. And when you open the door, it's going to open up like that. Okay. So you're going to have to cut two little slots of styrene plastic and you're gonna have to glue them on the inside of the door so make sure that you measure everything up cut the slots okay glue the slots onto the door okay which would be you take two pieces of styrene plastic about that big cut them the size and these two pieces one on each side it's gonna go glued onto the door okay and once you do all that, you glue this onto the inside, glue those two little slots onto your doors, slip this through, and there you go. Simple as that. I'm going to show you what I did here. Okay, here's the old truck. Um, this is what it looks like. Okay. Oh, this is what it looks like. Now, it looks a little sloppy because I put this together really quick so like that you can get an idea of what I'm talking about. See on the inside how it's glued in and then the two slots then you close and once you open the door or if your truck your sedan your delivery truck already has the doors open you might want to take a piece of styrene plastic sheet plastic and cut a little strip and glue it on the inside of the panel truck to, to uh, work as a lip okay it's gonna work as a stop so when you close the door it won't sink all the way inside the inside the, the panel truck uh, and it'll stop right there you know and that's just, it's 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 you know that's just, uh, that's the only way that I can think of this working for you uh, I know you wanted to probably do two separate hinges one on the top one on the bottom but that's going to be kind of difficult. I'm not saying that it's impossible, but, you know, I I haven't done anything like that. And I don't know if anybody else out there has done anything like that. Um, the only best bet is doing it like this with, uh, with the hinge, the regular hinge. I know it's not going to look as sloppy as this, you know, because this is just put together really quick. This is just a donor truck just to show you for an example of what uh, what needs to be done. And how it would look. So I know once you do yours, it's not gonna do, it's not gonna look like this. Uh, but like I said, you know, this is a little quick thing. So like that, you can get an idea what, you know, what it looks like. Uh, you were telling me, you were asking me that you wanted to leave it open, but I would think that it would be better if you can open it and close it. It would it would look a lot nicer, uh, open and close. Uh, well, that's about it, guys. And I hope this works out for you, homie. Um, so, you know, this is this is the little hinge right here. It's a little quick hinge that you can make. 
like I said, a uh, styrene tubing, or if not, get yourself a ballpoint pen and get the little tubing from the inside and just cut it down to size. Make sure that everything's cut down to where you want it and you have clearance and get yourself a paper clip. And that's all she wrote, man. So I hope this works out for you, homie. Um, uh, I look a little crappy today because I've been painting. <laughs> Uh, not painting any models. I've been painting my house, so I've been doing other things. But since he sent me this message, I've been I, I just you know came in here and you know hacked this thing up and you know put it together and did a little hinge for him and so like that he can get an idea of what's uh, what needs to be done. So like I said, man, I hope this works out for you, man. If you have any questions, leave me a personal message and I'll see if I can try to help you out any more than than what I just did here. Uh, so, I gotta go. So, like I always say, brothers, peace, and you know it, chicken grease. Laters.